What's going on everybody? Quick video today about a little strategy that we devised yesterday. So I have been doing a boss rush strategy where I take about a 500 move speed character on shore, and sprint to the boss, kill it in order to get lots of boss drops. It also churns out invitations, so I had a ton of uh, Exarch invitations and Polaric invitations. So I farmed up about 20 of the Exarchs, and I ran those, got an Omni, it was super exciting. Guys, we gotta get it. We gotta get it. We gotta get it. And we also ran the 20 Polaric Invitations. Uh, we did them all with Height of Hubris and 70% quantity on them. And it turned out that I dropped a decent amount of Eldritch Currency. And it got me thinking, what if I just ran a ton of these Polaric and Writhing Invitations to just generate an absolute ton of Eldritch Currency? These are getting more and more expensive as the league goes on. They're super rare. There's no way to farm them in maps. So you pretty much, uh, if you want them, you gotta go and kill these sub bosses. So I decided that I was going to buy 100 of the Writhing Invitations and 100 Polaric Invitations. Um, because I was buying in such massive bulk, I definitely overspent. Uh, I was paying about 10 C per um, sometimes more, sometimes less, but it averaged out to about 10 C per, which is definitely not a good price. Um, I would farm these on my own and run them in the future, uh, but I did want to get just a bulk data set to share with you guys. So let's jump into the strategy. So for Polaric, we, uh, we just rolled them to some percent and took out, out the mods that I couldn't do. There's like no region, things like that I can't do on my deck stacking uh, Siege Ballista build, which you should check out if you are looking for a great boss killer to do this. So what did we drop? 17 Conqueror maps. Uh, some of these are Crimson Temple. I think there's five Crimson Temples. Those sell for 80 C a piece. Uh, the rest of them sell for 30 to 35. And the more you have, the better, uh, the more you can make in bulk. We also had five Polaric Devastation Rings. Um, these sell for 10 to 20 C. If they got really good rolls, they'll sell for more. Um, we have 11 amulets. I haven't actually, actually looked at these yet, but these are very hard to price unless you get something truly crazy. And then uh, we got 58 embers here. These are worth about an exalt total, all of this. And then the big money our Eldritch Currency. We got eight Annulls, nine Exalts, and 14 Eldritch Chaos Orbs. Uh, huge money. So we'll jump over to the Writhing set. Very similar. I originally wanted to test them against each other and see how the drops were. They're very similar. Um, so we have 18 Conqueror maps, only two Crimson Temples, sadly. Um, we got 16 Amulets this time, which was awesome. So we're gonna look at these at some point. And then 69 total embers. Nice. Uh, these are worth a little bit less than an exalt. Eldritch Currency, 13 exalts, 7 orbs of annulment, and 13 Eldritch Chaos. The Eldritch Chaos sell for 40c one at a time. So if you have 27 of them, like we got, you can sell them for definitely a good bit over. But we're going to give you a quick price breakdown based on the non-bulk prices, so you can get an idea of what things are worth, and then you can add 10, 20% to that to bulk sell. We have 35 Conqueror maps worth 6.6 .6 exalts, 21 Eldritch Annals worth 2.7 exalts, 17 Eldritch Exalted Orbs for 2.5 exalts, and 27 Eldritch Chaos Orbs worth seven exalts. Put that all together, super easy to sell in bulk, just these Eldritch Currencies and the Conqueror maps, we made 10 Exalts pure profit. And that includes the 11 Exalts, uh, 11 exalts that we spent 
uh, to get all these. I don't recommend spending 10 CAPs on these. Buy them for cheaper, buy them in smaller bulk. You don't need to run 200 of them at a time in order to, uh, to enjoy it. Um, but we did all this in 90 minutes. And that includes, I was on stream, so talking to chat, I looked at people's POVs. These things take 10 seconds if you have enough damage. And on this deck stacking Siege Ballista Bow, you've got more than enough damage. So, uh, 10 Exalts Pure Profit, including the ridiculous overprice of uh, the, the bulk invitations. So, if you are able to farm them yourself uh, and don't want to sell them, or you just buy them in less than 70 at a time and spend 6 or 7 C on them, you can make many more Exalts per hour. So, 90 minutes, uh, including tons of wasted time, we made 10 Exalts just on these very sellable things. It was, it was a blast. We had a really, really good time. Um, let's quickly look at the tree. So this is a boss rushing tree that I'm doing for another strategy, but here are the most important things. You want to get over to liberated knowledge so you can uh, have an additional chance for embers. You also want it on this side for um, an additional chance to duplicate your currency items from the infinite hunger. You want martial forces because that gives us that 20% chance to drop the Conqueror map. So if you run 100 of them, you're going to get 20 on average. Um, and then we ran Height of Hubris. I think that this is the key to making this worth it. I don't think it would be worth doing if you couldn't run Height of Hubris on your invitations. Now, I didn't, I didn't do 80% plus on all of these because I just didn't want to spend the time rolling them. I rolled all 200, me and a viewer split them. Uh, we rolled all 200 in five minutes. If you really wanted to, you could roll them for a lot higher. Let's say if you can do all mods, uh, you could corrupt them if you wanted to get some really high ones, but ours were just anywhere from 50 to 80%. And then we double that with Height of Hubris. So 100% increased effect of modifiers on your invitations. That includes the sub bosses. So we were running some that were 180% quant. Very, very strong. So if you wanna screenshot this tree, it'll be in the description. So that was the strategy. Uh, I am actually not going to be selling most of this stuff because I wanted to farm Conqueror maps so I could run them. And I really wanted to farm the Eldritch Currency the Annals, the Exalts, and the Chaos, because I want to I want to craft with them, but I don't want to buy them. They're, they're a hassle to buy, and they're so expensive to buy in bulk, I thought, what if I could just farm these myself, save myself some money? Uh, turns out it was definitely worth doing. Um, highly, highly recommend this. If you can get a bunch of these invitations for cheap or farm them yourself, uh, highly recommend. So I took a look at these amulets, and nothing struck me as super exciting um there was a couple that were close to being really good but nothing blew me away uh we did have we had a couple with max res i thought that would be worth something it's not uh this increased effect effective non-curse auras uh in the presence of a unique enemy i thought that was going to be worth something turns out with the unique enemy requirement it's actually not worth anything which is surprising because i feel like most builds that need uh, aura effect are doing content that has tons of you know beyond monsters and things like that and they're not super worried about just being strong for the magics and rares but this wasn't really worth anything and then I'll just mouse over them so you guys can see them all uh, to get an idea of of what's here this one another thing unfortunately it's a unique enemy requirement so nobody wants mana reservation efficiency just when there's a unique nearby so that that was a bummer um and then, you know, some of these are probably going to sell for a decent amount. My plan is to just put them all into a 1x tab and see what sells. Anything that I get from these is going to be a bonus because I got everything I wanted from the Conqueror maps and the Eldritch Chaos Exalts and Annulls. So, all right, that's going to be the video, guys. Thank you for checking it out. And if you want to see more, let me know down in the comments. 
I already have a video on the deck stacking ballista. I'm going to make a video on the boss rush strategy that got me to farm a bunch of these myself. Um, so let me know down in the comments below what kind of content you guys want to see. If you like this type of stuff, like and subscribe. Uh, don't forget to check out my Twitch channel. I stream almost every single day. Twitch.tv slash AER0 underscore underscore. And uh, we'll see you over there. And as always, take care.